Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toy from A Class Sassy Life. Today's video is another classroom setup planning video. I am in the home stretch. I want to have everything up um, by Thursday of this week, so we have tons to do. Alright guys, new week, new week of planning. So, um, I pulled out my original list, the very first one that I ever created, um, because we are using that as a blueprint for my classroom. And I'm also going to be looking at the checklist that I made um, that same week as well. So now I'm just going to um, pull this out in just a moment, and I'm going to go through um, each one of those items there, which is what I'm doing right now, just popping that out. And I'm going to get my planner out of the way. And then I'm going to go through um, each of my items and just make sure that I've completed a lot of those things. So I have definitely completed um, all of those areas. I have not labeled my walls or measured them. But I have um, identified my math curriculum. And I'll be printing those while I'm working. We'll be getting that done this week. Um, I will decide on bins and reading organization. I've done that. I have um, decided on new labels, but I have not printed those out yet. I have cleaned out my shelves, washed my chairs, put away bought items. I have not created a separate area yet, so I'm going to skip that. I have done my reading curriculum organization. I've still not done my teacher area. And I have not done my library space. I have an idea for a computer area lockdown, but I haven't done that yet. And none of those things have been accomplished. So they will be um, getting accomplished this week, definitely. This week is all about um, decorating and designing. So instead of using the back, which I had intention on you, instead of using the back, which was my intention, I'm going to be using my half sheets. So I'm just flipping through to make a decision on the best half sheet to use, and I settled on two. This is the Glam Girl half sheet, and the all the things comes in a pack of four. One has like wrap paper, and this one has a checklist. So I chose that one to just um, keep a running list of things that I need to purchase and where I need to grab them from, and then I'm just going to make one trip tomorrow. And anything that I need to buy, um, I'm going to knock that out during my lunch. So the first thing that I want to work on is bulletin boards and my ceiling decor. I want to go ahead and get on my ladder and get that over with. The next thing I want to do is my word walls. So I'm going to have two word walls. So I want to make out a space for word wall one and two. The next thing that I really want to focus on is labeling my tables. I'm going to be using vinyl to do this, so I'm going to put that on those bins that I showed you in my vlog. I'm also going to be organizing my library. And excuse me for throwing down my pen, guys. I was having a conversation with my family at that time. So I'm just going back through my list, making sure that I haven't skipped anything and trying to remember if there's anything else that I need to do. And I'm also assessing my um, blueprint over there to the left. And I need to do my alphabet line as well as my number line. Um, I am printing those from home, so I will cut those and laminate those at school tomorrow. So I'm reevaluating again just to make sure I don't miss anything. And the last one I want to do is my door. So even if I don't get my door done this week, having the majority of the room done is going to be a, a big plus. And then I can do my door and then start working on back to school night stuff um, the following week because I go back to school full time August the 2nd and my students come back on the 8th. So I want to make sure that I have everything lined up um, before that time frame. So the next two weeks I want to be doing minor things and then um, within as far as like classroom setup but the majority of the time I want to be working on my curriculum and my layout. So I just decided to create a quick list of all the things that I need to do, um, which is measuring my areas, buying fabric for the room, um, getting ceiling clips, working on my word wall, those sorts of things. So I'm just taking my list um, that I just wrote out and breaking those down into smaller pieces. Um, so I'm also going to be um, cutting out my vinyl for my tables 
looking at border from up there. Um, I'm also going to be deciding on what I want to do in my library. I have not decided if I want my library to be organized by AR point or genre. I actually posted a question on that last night, so I want you guys to go check that out and chime in. So the last thing I'm doing is quickly writing down a list of things that I need to purchase. Like I said, I want to keep a running um, total of the things that I need to grab. Okay, guys. So as the week progresses, I will add to this and check things off of here. And I'm probably going to bring this to school so I can do it during my vlogs as well. So make sure that you check out um, the previous week vlog, week's vlog. It was uploaded prior to this video and next week's vlog will be uploaded next Sunday as well. So thanks so much for watching guys. Keep God first in everything you do and remember to teach with lots of class and sass. Bye guys.